Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on supply of medical gases, part 1. Gas supply for medical purposes can come from piped gas system or gas cylinders. Supplementary information. Gas is a substance possessing perfect molecular mobility and the property of indefinite expansion as opposed to a solid or liquid. Gaseous state of a substance when it's above its critical temperature. Vapor is a gaseous state of a substance when it's below its critical temperature. The vapor can be condensed to a liquid by increasing the pressure on it without reducing the temperature. Aerosol is a suspension of any particles of liquid, solid or both within a gas. Critical temperature of a gas is the temperature at which it cannot be liquefied no matter how great the pressure that is applied. For oxygen, it is negative 118 degrees Celsius. For nitrous oxide, it is 36.5 degrees Celsius. Critical pressure. The critical pressure of a substance is the pressure required to liquefy a gas at its critical temperature. Filling ratio. The mass of gas used to fill a cylinder divided by mass of water needed to fill the cylinder completely. Refer to the video on nitrous oxide for further details. Antonox is a mixture of 50% nitrous oxide and 50% oxygen. Kindly refer to the video on antonox and nitrous oxide for further details. Gas supply or oxygen failure can result from failure of liquid oxygen supply from a manifold of large oxygen cylinders remote from the patient. In the operation theater, reserve oxygen cylinders should be available. If there is a complete failure of oxygen delivery, the anesthetic machine should discontinue the flow of nitrous oxide and entrain room air. Isotherms An isotherm is a line of constant temperature in a diagram that shows the relationship between temperature, pressure and volume. It is gas-specific and usually relates to nitrous oxide. Three isotherm lines are chosen to illustrate the relationship between temperature, pressure and volume above, at and below the critical temperature. This is the nitrous oxide isotherm with the x-axis showing volume and the y-axis showing pressure in bar. Liquid and vapor. This outline should be drawn first a line representing temperature at 20 degrees Celsius from right to left. The line curves up initially, becomes horizontal at 52 bar as it crosses the liquid vapor curve. It ascends vertically as liquid is incompressible. Pressure increases rapidly despite a small increase in volume. The second curve is 36.5 degrees Celsius. It is the critical temperature line. From right to left, the line climbs as a rectangular hyperbola and has a small flattened section at its midpoint. The flattened section is the first point where liquefaction occurs as the pressure rises continually. Subsequently, the line climbs rapidly as pressure increases rapidly despite small decrease in volume. The next curve represents 40 degrees Celsius. It represents the Boyle's Law. It is a true rectangular hyperbola. Pressure doubles as the volume halves. It obeys gas laws as it is above the critical temperature. 72 bar is the critical pressure of nitrous oxide. A horizontal line drawn from the flattened section of the critical temperature line crossing the y-axis at 72 bar. Gas cylinders Components of a gas cylinder Gas cylinders are made of either carbon steel, chrome molybdenum steel, stainless steel, special composite materials, or aluminium alloys. Aluminium alloys are lightweight, covered by a fiberglass covering in epoxy resin matrix, and can be used for domiciliary oxygen during patient transport and in MRI scans. Gas cylinders are able to withstand high pressures. Gases and vapors are stored under pressure in gas cylinders. Gas cylinders can withstand considerable internal pressures. For example, size E cylinders 
are tested to 250 bar or 3625 psi. The neck of a gas cylinder is the top end of the cylinder. It ends in a tapered screw thread. The cylinder valve fits at this tapered end of the cylinder. The thread is sealed with a material that melts if the cylinder is exposed to intense heat. In such situations, gas is allowed to escape and this reduces the pressure of the cylinder and reduces the risk of an explosion. A plastic disc is placed around the neck of the cylinder. The shape and color of the disc indicates the year when the cylinder was last examined. Cylinder sizes ranges from A to J. A and H are not used for medical gases. Cylinders attached to anesthetic machines are usually size E and cylinders used in cylinder manifolds for pipeline gas delivery are usually size J. Relevant gas cylinder data 1 bar equals 14 psi equals 100 kPa equals 1 atm Oxygen gas cylinders size E and J for size E 680 liters of oxygen is present at 137 bar and it uses a pin index valve. For size J, it holds 6,800 liters at 137 bar and uses a pin index valve. Nitrous oxide gas cylinders, size E holds 1,800 liters at 44 bar or 745 psi and it uses a pin index valve. For size J nitrous oxide cylinder, it holds 18,000 liters at 44 bar and uses a hand wheel valve. For medical air gas cylinders, size E, it holds 640 to 680 liters at 137 bar and uses a pin index valve. For size J, it holds 6,400 liters at 137 bar, it uses a pin index valve. Cylinder label includes the name, chemical symbol, pharmaceutical form, specification of the product, its license number, the proportion of the constituent gases in a gas mixture, substance identification number and batch number, hazard warnings and safety instructions, cylinder size code, nominal cylinder contents in liters, maximum cylinder pressure in bars, filling date, shelf life, and expiry date, direction for use, storage and handling precautions. Estimating remaining oxygen in E-cylinders Boyle's law states that at a constant temperature, the volume of a fixed mass of perfect gas is inversely proportional to absolute pressure. P times V equals K, or V is proportional to 1 divided by P. Pi times Vi equals Pr times Vr, where Pi equals the initial pressure, Vi equals the initial volume in liters, Pr equals the remaining pressure in psi, and Vr equals the remaining volume in liters. Vi equals Q times T, where Q equals flow rate at liters per minute, and T equals remaining time in minutes. Pi times Q times T equals PR times VR. T equals PR times VR divided by PI times Q times 60, where T is remaining time in hours. Since for an E-cylinder, PI equals 1,900 PSI and VR equals 660 liters, PR times 600 divided by 2,000 times Q times 60, rounding VR of 660 to 600 liters, and rounding Pi to 2000 psi, Pr divided by 200 times Q equals T in hours. A typically fully filled size E oxygen cylinder can deliver 130 times its capacity of oxygen, last 2 hours and 50 minutes delivering 4 liters per minute of oxygen, and last 45 minutes delivering 15 liters per minute of oxygen. Cylinder Valves The purpose of cylinder valves is to seal cylinder contents, to connect the cylinder to an apparatus for release of cylinder contents, 
and act as a mechanism to open and close the gas pathway. Types of cylinder valves include pin index, pin index side spindle, integral, hand wheel, bull nose, and star. Components of the cylinder valve. It is located at the top of the cylinder, screwed into the neck of the cylinder via a threaded connection. It is made of brass and it is sometimes plated with chromium. There is an on-off spindle to open and close the valve. The external part of the valve may be designed to allow manual turning on and off of the cylinder without the need of a key. Exit port for supplying gas to the apparatus such as an anesthetic machine. Safety relief device, if the cylinder is overpressurized, it allows discharge of the cylinder contents to the atmosphere. Pin index system is non-interchangeable safety system. It is a safety feature to prevent the connection of a cylinder containing one substance to a delivery system labeled as a different substance used on cylinders size E or smaller as well as size F and G antinox cylinders, a specific pin configuration exists for each medical gas on the yoke of the anesthetic machine. Nitrous oxide 3 and 5, oxygen 2 and 5, air 1 and 5, and carbon dioxide at 1 and 6 pin index positions. Only the correct gas cylinder can be fitted in the yoke if the configuration of the holes on the valve block matches the positions of the pins. The gas exit port will only seal against the washer of the yoke if the pins and holes are aligned. Bodox seal is a compressible yoke sealing washer located between the valve outlet and the apparatus. Its purpose is to make the gas tight joint. Safety features and safe practice. Gases and vapors should be free of water vapor when stored in cylinders. Water vapor freezes and blocks the exit port when the temperature decreases as the cylinder is open. Pin index system, as mentioned, prevents misconnections of gas cylinders to the wrong yoke. Cylinder valve. The chemical formula of the particular gas is engraved on the valve. Color coding of gas cylinders reduces the risk of accidental use of the wrong gas or vapor. For oxygen, the body color is black, shoulder color is white, pressure at room temperature when full is 13,700 kPa, and physical state in the cylinder is gas. Nitrous oxide cylinder has a blue body color and blue shoulder color, pressure is 4,400 kPa at room temperature when full, Physical state in the cylinder is liquid and vapor. Carbon dioxide gas cylinders has a grey body color and grey shoulder color. Pressure at room temperature when full is 5000 kPa. Physical state in the cylinder is liquid or vapor. For air, the body color is grey. Shoulder color is white and black quarters. Pressure is 13700 kPa at room temperature when full. Physical state in the cylinder is gas. For Antonox, body color is blue, shoulder color is white and blue quarters, pressure is 137,000 kPa at room temperature when full, physical state in the cylinder is gas. For Heliox, body color is black, shoulder color is white or brown quarters, pressure is 13,700 kPa at room temperature when full, physical state in the cylinder is gas. Regular checks. Cylinders should be checked regularly when in use to ensure that remaining gas is adequate and no leaks occur. Safety testing policy. Cylinders in use are checked and tested by manufacturers at regular intervals. It is usually 5 years. Test details are recorded on the plastic disc between the valve and the neck of the cylinder. Details engraved on the cylinder includes test pressure, date of test performed, chemical formula of the cylinder contents, and tar weight, which is the weight of the gas cylinder when empty. Safety testing involves internal endoscopic examination, flattening, bend and impact tests carried out on at least one cylinder in every 100, pressure tests, 
The cylinder is subject to high pressures of about 22,000 kPa, which is more than 50% above their normal working pressure. Tensile test. Strips of the cylinder are cut and stretched. This test is carried out on at least one cylinder in every 100. Safe storage. Cylinders should be kept in a purpose-built room, which is secure, well-ventilated, fireproof and dry. It should be free from extremes of temperature, away from flammable materials, away from moisture, corrosive chemicals and fumes, to avoid corrosion of cylinders and valves. Avoid keeping full and empty cylinders in the same area. Do not overpressurize the cylinder. Large cylinders are usually stored upright, such as FG and size J, to avoid damage to the valves. Small cylinders can be stored horizontally. C, D and E size cylinders can be stored horizontally. Safe practice cylinder valve. The plastic wrapping of the valve should be removed just before use. When using a new gas cylinder, remove the plastic wrapping, open and close the valve slightly before connecting the cylinder to the anesthetic machine to clear particles of dust, oil, grease from the exit port. The cylinder valve should be opened slowly when attached to the anesthetic machine or regulator. This prevents rapid increase in pressure and temperature of the gas in the machine pipelines. The cylinder valve should be opened fully when in use. Turn the valve to complete two full revolutions. Closing the cylinder valve. Avoid over-tightening to reduce damage to the seal between the valve and the cylinder neck. Bordock seal check. Inspect for damage prior to use and have a spare seal ready. These are my references. Thank you.